As someone who's tried every class in different ways, leveling a druid just sucks. Before you get to the end game and have a full set of uniques and aspects, the class just feels a bit clunky. But among all the clunky skills and build options for leveling, I personally believe this Tornado Druid is the strongest and fastest leveling option from level 1 until World Tier 3 where you can decide what build you'd like to focus on for the endgame. Before I get into the guide, I also want to mention if you're making a Druid to play the Tornado Wolf variant, this build is the best segue to start with and will have you targeting stats and legendaries that are going to directly translate into your endgame build. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. Most build guides will sit there and run you through the entire skill page, but I don't believe that to be the most effective way to get a build going, especially while leveling. Rather, I'm gonna do an overview of the build, provide you with tips, and talk about some of the most important stats to keep an eye out for while leveling. Additionally, if you're someone who appreciates D4 planners that show you all the skills so you don't have to pause the video, I have that link down below. First, let's do an overview of the build. Our main source of damage in this build is Tornado. Of the core skill options available while leveling, because you don't have access to the uniques and aspects that you'd want to make some of the other core skills better, Tornado is in my opinion the strongest core skill option. The playstyle for this build is really simple. You generate spirit and spam tornadoes. The build gets a bit more involved once you get aspects and uniques online, but while leveling, the build is very simplified. For our basic skill, we're using Storm Strike because this is going to apply some CC and it's generally the fastest spirit regeneration option while leveling. Then for general skills, first we're going to take Wolf Companions to draw aggro and give us some supporting damage. Then Shield Bulwark for some Fortify that gives us defensives and also enables some of the passive choices that I've made in the skill tree. On top of that, Shield Bulwark will give us Unstoppable that allows us to get out of crowd control. Next, we have Hurricane to apply slow on enemies and also make them vulnerable, which is going to increase our damage if we build correctly because we're playing to deal damage to crowd controlled and slowed enemies. For the final skill, we're going to use Trample for some much needed mobility and an additional Unstoppable. I'll also mention you could swap Trample to Blood Howl if you like as a heal and a way to get some spirit, but I prefer Trample for my build. So those are the primary skills, and now let's quickly talk about some of the most important aspects. First, an aspect that I really value for the leveling experience is Storm Chasers. This is going to make it so Tornado is prioritizing hitting three targets rather than just spiraling out of control on its own. Next, we have Shepherd's Aspect. This is going to give us some nice increased damage from our two Wolf Companions. Then, Rapid Aspect is a rather important one. Our basic skill is very slow attacking without it, and seeing as while you're leveling, spirit is quite a problem, Rapid Aspect allows you to generate spirit back much faster and is very valuable to have. Those are the three most important aspects, but I do want to make some honorable mentions that you can go with if you find them on your journey. Those would be Conceited Aspect, Aspect of the Alpha, and Edge Masters if you manage to find them. Don't worry about prioritizing those aspects, but there's some nice added damage for the build if you manage to find them. So now that we've talked about the skills and the aspects, how do you play the build? Well, it's really simple. You're aiming to use Tornado as often as possible. So if I engage a pack of enemies, for example, I'll start by activating Hurricane and then using all my spirit with Tornado. Then when you're out of energy, use Storm Strike. You might wonder, when do we use our other skills? Well, Trample is best used for mobility or to crowd control some enemies. Earthen Bulwark is your general defensive option and also provides Unstoppable to get out of crowd control. You should use this when you're in a tough situation. Finally, for the Wolf's active ability, I generally use this on priority targets. Those include shield minions, elites, and bosses. While you're leveling, it's also important to know what secondary stat lines to keep an eye out for. This is what I'll do to help you. I'll highlight some of the most important stat lines to keep an eye out for, and then I'll also highlight some important stat lines on specific pieces of gear. Some of the most general important stat lines on your druid are critical strike chance, critical strike damage, core skill damage, damage to close enemies, and damage to crowd controlled enemies. Once you get later on, vulnerable damage is more important too, but early on you don't really have a lot of vulnerable stacking, so it's not as important while leveling. Anyway, now let's talk about some certain stat lines on specific pieces of gear. On helmets, you can get maximum spirit, which is very helpful. Gloves can have ranks in tornado, crit strike chance, and attack speed. Boots can have spirit cost reduction. Then for your chest and legs, I always recommend defensive values here so you don't die very quickly. And for your weapon and jewelry, you should keep an eye out for the stats I mentioned before. Well, there you have it. A quick 5 minute guide explaining the leveling build for the druid. That's really all you need to know about this build because leveling in Diablo 4 isn't all that complicated. 
But if you do have any questions about the build, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. And with all that said, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and consider joining my Discord server in the description. But with all that out of the way, my name has been Valued. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.